Hello, good morning. How are you today? My name is teacher Paula Grajales and today we are going to continue talking and learning about the different parts of the house. Today our objectives are review about the internal parts of the house and recognize some external parts of the house. The first thing that we have to remember is that a house is a place where we live in. It has different parts. For example, there is a garden where we plant flowers. We have the garage and we can put the car in the garage. We have a fence to protect the privacy of the house and we have a terrace where you can enjoy with a picnic with your family. And obviously we have a yard, a yard where you can play with your brother, with your sister, with your friends. Okay, today we are going to learn about external parts of the house. Remember, review about the internal parts of the house too. Okay, now let's listen to the teacher to match the correct picture. Terrace. What do you think is the terrace? That's correct. This is the terrace. What about garden? The place where we plant flowers. Do you see any place in front of you where you can plant flowers? Yes. There is a place where you can plant colorful flowers. This is the garden. And then we have the house. Let's read with me. Terrace, garden, and house. In the second group of words, we have fence, yard, and garage. Let's start with fence. Oh, it says that the fence is to protect the privacy of the house. That's correct. This is the fence. Then we have the yard. In this place, you can play and enjoy a picnic with your family. I can see a grill there. Yes, that's correct. This is the yard. Oh, next time we have the garage. So we can put the car in the garage. Yes, that's correct. So we have fence, yard, and garage. Thank you. Inside of the house. Well, inside of the house, we also have different parts. Let's review. This is the ceiling, door, window, the floor, and the wall. You see? And this is me. Let's review. Wall, window, floor, ceiling, and door. In the house, we have some sentences, okay? And some members of the family are going to help. They are going to help to paint the house. Okay, let's start with the sentence number one. My brother paints the lamp on the ceiling. Do you see where is the lamp? Yes, this is the lamp and it's on the ceiling. Oh, my brother paints the lamp on the ceiling. Very good. Let's see the second sentence. My cousin paints the window. Where is the window here? This is the ceiling. Is that the window? Let's see. Well, this is my cousin and he is painting the window. Okay, good. The next sentence says that my father, my grandfather paints the doors. My grandfather, let's see. Oh, there's my grandfather. He paints the door. And at the end, I paint the wall. Look at me, I paint the wall. What are the members of the family? Yes, we have my brother, my cousin, my grandfather, and me. 
It means that all we as a team, we are painting the house, okay? Let's review. My brother paints the lamp on the ceiling. My cousin paints the window. My grandfather paints the door. I paint the wall. Okay, let's go. Do you remember about the rooms in the house? The rooms in the house are, do you remember the name? This is the living room. What can you do in the living room? Yes, you can sit on the sofa, that's good. In the kitchen, you can prepare a delicious breakfast. Then we have the dining room. What can you do in the dining room? You can sit on the table to eat your delicious breakfast. And the bedroom, it's a place where you are going to rest, you are going to sleep. Then we have the bathroom. You can take a shower, a delicious shower in the bathroom. And we have a new place, the laundry. Very good. These are the different rooms in a house. Some houses has, for example, one or two kitchen, one or two living room, several bedroom. Maybe they have the dining room in the kitchen, two or three bathroom, because houses can be big and houses can be small. Okay, let's review. Could you please help me to place the different rooms of the house in the correct place? Thank you so much. We have the kitchen. There is a freezer in the kitchen, a sink and a stove. Oh, that's good. Oh, we have the bathroom. There is a bed and a lamp on the bathroom. We have the living room. We can see a sofa in there. And in the bathroom, do you see the toilet is there? And also there is a sink where you can take a shower. Very good, thank you so much for your help. Now, what can you do in the different rooms? Okay, let's see. Look, we have the kitchen, the dining room, the bedroom, the living room and the bathroom. Number one, it says, I can prepare my food in the kitchen. And we have a picture related to the sentence, I can prepare my food in the kitchen. In the dining room, I can eat my lunch with my family in the dining room. There are the members of the family, the mother, the father, the brother, and the sister. They are all sharing the dinner. Okay, I can sleep in the bedroom. Oh, you see? Do you remember how many hours we have to sleep? Eight hours you have to sleep. Okay, then we have I can watch TV in the living room. Here we are. My family is in the sofa. Possibly they are going to watch their favorite TV program. And I can take a shower where? In the bathroom. Okay, these are the different parts, the different rooms in a house. So let's practice. Remember also today we are learning about the external parts of the house. Do you remember the name of this place? What is this? It's the place where you can put the car. This is the garage. Excellent. What about this place? It's outside of the house. I can see a table and two chairs and the jar around. What part of the house is this? This is the terrace. Do you like terrace? Like, that's nice. And then we have one of my favorite places in the house where you can plant flowers. I'm sure you have one at home. This is a garden. This is a garage. This is a terrace. And this is the garden. 
Let's continue learning. What is this? Do you remember what is this? Remember, it can protect the privacy of your house. This is the fence. And this is a... Excellent. This is a house. We all know this is a house, okay? And then we have a beautiful place where you can enjoy. You can prepare a picnic with your family. And this is the yard. Very good. And the most important we have to remember, a house is a shelter. It's a shelter that protects you from the elements. It is a shelter where you can share with your family. And the family is at the house, do you see? That's the family. Let's review about the members of the family. We have the brother. How can you say this one? This is mother. Then we have father and sister. Brother, mother, father, and sister. Very good. Now that we have reviewed about the different members of the family, can you please help me to say where are they? Look at the picture number one. My parents are in the... Do you remember how? What is the name of this place? In the yard. Very good. Look at the second picture. My family is in the, in the garden. Good. Do you remember this? Where are they? Where is my sister? My sister is in the, in the terrace. And then my car is in the garage. In that way, we have learned about four new places of the house external places of the house. So could you please help me to complete the missing vowels? Let's review first. Remember, in English, we have five vowels and they are A, E, I, O, U. Repeat, A, E, I, O, U. How many vowels? We have five. Okay, could you please help me to complete the word? House, house. What is the missing vowel? Correct, house. The U is the missing vowel. Next, we have the second word. It says garden, garden. What is the missing vowel? E, it says garden, garden. Then we have the word garage, garage. Perfect. This is the missing vowel, A. And at the end, we have the word fence, fence. Correct. Okay, let's read with me. House, garden, garage, and fence. Now it's time to sing. Okay, let's read first. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the wind, the heat, the rain, and the snow. Okay, let's do it. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. The wind, the heat, the rain and the snow. Okay, look, this is the sun, the wind, the heat the rain and the snow. Okay, let's try once again. The house is a shelter that protects us from the sun, the sun, the wind, the heat and the snow. The sun, the wind, the heat and the snow. Excellent, very good. So what is a house? It is a shelter, that is a house. 
Very good. Look, the family is at the house. Excellent. And we have a special here, special news for you. The English Week celebration from June 28th to July the 2nd. Be ready to make your bulletin board, yes. Do you know what is the topic this year? It's developing values and tourism as we celebrate Panama Bicentennial. Okay, remember you can use cardboard, you can use partition, recycle materials, and your creativity. Okay, let's participate to celebrate the English week. In time for creation, we have two different ways to make houses. Remember, we can use simple materials as paper, cardboards, cartoons, whatever you have at home and your imagination. Look at this. This time, you can add the external parts of the house, for example, the garage. You can also put a car into the garage. And then we have the garden. You can also make a beautiful garden in front of the house. It's just to use your imagination. And this is another way to work making a house. Okay, let's create. Just remember, dear students, if you want to avoid COVID-19, what you must do? First, wash your hands with water and soap. Keep two meters of public distancing. Sanitize your hands and wear a face mask. It's time for me to say, I see you next week. Please enjoy your week. Have a good behavior. Practice your English. Make your aircraft and participate from the English Week celebration. Remember, if you want to contact me, you can take uh, go to teacher Paula underscore connectate and send your videos. Before I let you go, I say special thanks to Mrs. Dyra Creighton. She is our academic coordinator, National Directory of Foreign Language Teaching. Also, we say special thanks. Thank you, thank you so much to all the sponsors who make this beautiful project possible. I see you next week. Bye-bye.